All right, video four, I think. Uh, here we have yet another model which shows a different view of the uh, of a nephron or a bunch of nephrons. So I'm going to look at this guy over here because it has real good detail on these blood vessels. So here's a, your basic nephron, uh, corpuscle with the two components, proximal convoluted tube. Now it gets lost in here a little bit, so don't worry about that. But uh, the the tubules descend down into the uh, medulla and then reascend back up into the cortex. Now this is kind of a composite nephron because what it shows is that there's lots of these little capillaries that kind of interface with the tubules as they go down and back up. Well I want you to think about what's happening here is that I've, here's my original, this is what's called a, a I call it a cortical radiate artery but it, I think the other term for it is uh, interlobular artery. So this guy out here is, is bringing blood. This is blood that needs to be filtered. And there's a little arteriole there called an afferent arteriole. Afferent with an A-F-F-E-R-E-N-T means towards. So afferent means towards. It's bringing blood that needs to be filtered in here. Filtration occurs. And if you remember what I talked about before, that's you're going to lose a lot of liquid. You're going to lose a bunch of, of your plasma into this little tube. And you're going to want to get that back. So this peritubular capillary here dances its way down along with this uh, proximal convoluted tubule. And the next process that's going to be occurring primarily is what's called tubular reabsorption. Now, this term, tubular reabsorption, confuses people sometimes because it sounds like the tubule is reabsorbing something. Don't think of it that way. Think of it, it's reabsorption back from the tubule because we want that back. I assure you that if you didn't reabsorb most of your water, you'd urinate yourself to death in 10 minutes, okay? So you want most of that water back. It gets reabsorbed back into the tissues, back into the blood vessels. That's what these peritubular capillaries are for. If you got, particularly in these juxtamedullary nephrons, the ones that are really close to the medulla, you'll have a really long loop of Henle that goes down in here. And that really long loop of Henle is surrounded by basically peritubular capillaries, but they call that particular pattern a vasa recta. So this is the blood blood vessels that, the peritubular capillaries that surround the, the juxtamedullary uh, loops. Uh, by the way, the juxtamedullary nephrons are made, are designed to, uh, to make really concentrated urine. So most of your nephrons are these cortical ones way up here. Uh, they're making your everyday urine, but if you're really thirsty, you're dehydrated or whatever, and you need to save water, you're gonna run a lot of your urine through this, which is gonna create that really dark colored urine. That's evidence of a lot of stuff dissolved in it. Uh, another process that occurs is called tubular secretion. So tubular secretion sounds like the tubule is secreting something, but it's again the opposite. You're secreting into the tubule. Uh, tubular reabsorption takes place basically everywhere. It could take place in the proximal convoluted tubule, distal convoluted tubule, and uh, back from the, the loop of Henle. But tubular secretion, which is where you're going to get rid of stuff, you're going to like pump stuff into the tubule, uh, occurs in only the two convoluted tubules. And you can look up all the details of that, but it's going to be stuff that you want to get rid of extra most often. And uh, cut.